Okay, so today's video, 6.1, day two. Understanding relations and functions. A function is a special type of relation in which each input has exactly one output. Each input has exactly one output. The relation between pressing a key on a keyboard and the letter appears on the monitor screen as a function. Each key that you press on the keyboard will result in a specific letter appearing on the monitor screen. What type of relation is this? Thank you, students. One to one, period two class. The relation between a football player and his lineup position is a function. Each player can only play one position at one time. What type of relation is this? Many to one. Many to one, which is a function. Since each input had exactly one output in the last two examples, each of these relations are functions. All functions are relations. But not all relations, like one to many, or many to many, are not functions. All relations are not functions. All functions are relations. Now let's look at a few examples. Tell whether a relation is a function from a mapping diagram. Always ask yourself, does each input have exactly one output? If the answer is yes, then that is a function. The high jumpers at a track meet are wearing numbers on their uniforms. Each of the five high jumpers on the team made one jump. The height cleared by each athlete is shown in the table. Use a mapping diagram to represent the relation between the numbers of athletes and the heights they clear. So the number on their shirt, uh, I'm just going to say number on their shirt. <coughs> So what are my choices for the number on their shirt, everybody? One, two, One, three, two, four, three five. four, five. Yeah. <laughs> so the number on their shirt, and this is a relation, not a lot of space here, and the height in centimeters. So person number one cleared uh, 145. Person number two, athlete number two, cleared 143. Athlete number three cleared 139. Athlete number four and five cleared 151 centimeters. So tell whether the relation is a function. Is it a function? Each input has exactly one output. Yes, it is a function. Explain why. Why? Because each input has exactly one output. This is a, what kind of relation is it? Many to one. Many to one. Very good, students. Many to one. <laughs> Is this relation a function? What kind of relation is this? Ask that first. What kind of relation is this? Many to one. As long as the word after two is a one, 
Many to one, one to one, they are a function. Is it a function? Yes. Because again, each input has exactly one output. I'm not going to write that, but you can write that in. Is this relation, number three, is this relation a function? Yes. No, 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 no. Two has two different outputs. So each input doesn't have exactly one. No, this is not. This is a one to many. Whenever you have many after the word two, that is not a function because the input of two The input two has two outputs, both two and three. So that's not each input having only one and only one output. That has two of them. Number four, is this relation a function? This could be our x, y table that we are graphing. Does each input have exactly one output, everybody? Yes. Yes. Why? Each input has exactly one output. <laughs> and that's it for today. Bye.